Hello, thanks for tuning into this video. So I thought I'd do this, not really a series, but every now and again, I'm going to do a video on uh, free VST plugins that I've come across that I think you should know about because they're flipping awesome and free and they really shouldn't be free because, um, you know, there's some really amazing stuff out there that people make and give away for free. So the first one we're going to look at is uh, is this thing called Delay, um, which you're probably thinking, oh, Rez, do we need another Delay plugin? Well, you need this one because it's flipping awesome. Um, so let's just go over to, uh, this is the, the website for it. I'll link to this in the description, but you can see it on here as well. So it's by uh, I don't know if it's a company or whatever, but called Sixth Sample. They do, uh, I think they've got three, just three plugins. Two of them you've got to pay for, but this one is for free. There is, I'm not going to go into a tutorial of how to use this. I'm just showing you uh, it and it's up to you to learn how to use it. I'm not here for that on this one. Um, but there is a very useful um, video walkthrough with the guy that made it. Just takes you through um, the most of the controls and the things that you know. So um, you're probably thinking, yeah, okay. So why do we need this in my life? Well, it's mostly because we've got this chaos mode. Um, so let's just sort of show you what that does. I'm going to turn it off. Oh, it's off at the moment, actually. And all I'm putting in here, I've just got analog with an initialized patch. So uh, basically, just, I'm using both oscillators, I think. But we've just got a basic square wave. No, we haven't. We've got a basic sawtooth. And we've just got this. Okay, I've just put this simple arpeggiator pattern in it. And if we turn it on, and I'm using actually one of the presets um, called Planetarium. that stops um but i'll go through a few of the controls anyway just to sort of show you what, what it does this is kind of like if you are aware of the korg nts1 and also i think the the mini log monologue pros have this as well they it has a uh a reverb setting in it called riser i think it is and it kind of adds all these extra uh, layers of our harmonics and notes. There's a sub one as well that does sub thing, and I use it quite a lot because it, it sounds great. So even though this is a delay, you can use it also uh, as a bit of a reverb thing. So if I now turn it on and play you that same arpeggiator pattern, straight away you can hear it's going crazy. I'll let it play through a little bit. So this planetarium one just kind of keeps putting all these little notes in. It's got this massive that reverb thing on it. Let's get some drums in with this. We'll go all 80s. And it just sounds pretty lovely. Okay, so that is just using a basic sawtooth wave in analog and this crazy uh, delay thing. Oh, lovely. Right, let's just go through and just talk a little bit about it. I'm not going to go into a full tutorial on it. Um, but obviously you've got the basic delay controls. Let's just play this. So here's the initialized patch. Uh, I'm just going to turn this stuff down for now. So you've got your usual wet dry thing, we've got the spread to give it a bit of stereo width. Um, we can have it in mono or not. We can have ping pong mode, which in the spread's gonna give you a bit more width on the delays. Um, we can set the delays by um, let's just turn this down a little bit. We can set the delays by milliseconds, we can have it kind of in normal mode, uh, quite normal mode, but you can set it by like note um, amounts, subdivisions. You can go triplety, you can go dotted notes, okay? So you've got all your usual delay options there. So the magic kind of happens over this side, this diffusion thing. So this is kind of like, as it says up there, if you put your cursor over it, it says diffusion size, uh, is it diffusion amount. So this controls the buildup of echo density, um, making the delayed sound more diffused, whatever the hell that means. But let's turn that off. Uh, 
And we start to get all these extra kind of notes and harmonics added in. We've got like low cut and high cut down here, which is straightforward enough. And then we can put a bit of like tape-ness to it, which makes it sound a little bit more analog. And then we can put some distortion on the reverb signal. And you've got various distortion options down here. I'm going to leave it at that because that sounds rather lovely already. Okay, so that's with it in normal mode. Just let it settle down a minute. We can then have, like, reverse and forward, so... Like, the delayed signal kind of gets reversed and then goes forwards. Which sort of adds even more loveliness. We can have it just going in reverse. So, I mean, I've kind of been using it more for this rather than just using it as a basic delay. We can actually make the delayed signal, um, like, pump a little bit as well with this duck button, duck dial. And that's just like an attack and release on it. So then with this distortion in as well. Let's go dotted, I don't know, dot eight. We've got different types of distortion. But let's take the distortion down for now. But again, all of these are explained in detail in that uh, video on the website. We've then got Chaos, which kind of adds um, all these extra little notes and stuff in. So you can hopefully hear them. And we've got the modula modulation thing, which kind of makes it, I think, like a little bit like chorusy. I think. So some distortion. And then you've got reverse chaos, which is just the same thing, but kind of plays them at varying intervals and pitches and this kind of thing. So <laughs> you, can get, you can hear, it can get very crazy very quick. But I just, I think it's brilliant. I just love it. I've used this quite a lot. I've only discovered this this week. And um, let's, just, <laughs> let's just turn it off because it gets mad. You can get very silly very quick. But there's loads of presets. Um, you've got like color and like sound design stuff. Um, all these and you've got user ones I think where you can save them. And the great thing as well is you've got two delays in here. So you've got like an A and a B. So on an A we could, you know, have just like that and then on B we could do like a different one and you can sort of um, switch between the two although it doesn't seem to be working at the moment but it does normally do that so you can have two different delay settings as well which I think you can automate also and just go completely crazy so there we go if you want a, a delay thing that does some reverby nonsense in your life for free go check out delay it's flipping brilliant i think and uh i'm going to keep scouring uh the interwebs for any other free stuff um that you might that i like that i think might be of interest to my lovely subscribers so thanks for watching and uh yeah go get that for free and i'll see you in the next video cheers